it's another electrical ramble, but this time we've got the Mac Daddy of all guests. <laughs> we've got Mr. E5, Paul Mino. Okay, let's see what we Okay, so. Paul has graciously come all the way up from South End for a stay. Is that true, Paul? Sunny South End, yeah. yeah and you're going to return to South End, so that's probably a seven-hour round trip. Is it to see us at college? No, uh, probably about five oh, hours. Okay. Really? Oh, well, we're not yeah. well, okay. That's we're a lot quicker shot. than when we went down that way that <laughs> yeah. time, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. That was a good journey, wasn't it? <laughs> What was, what was wrong with that journey? We didn't go on a single motorway, did we, on the way from my house to uh, down to Kent there? That was a, that was a great trip, that was. Keeps wow. bringing it up. I had yeah. a nice uh, Apple device set to no motorways. I didn't even know it did uh, that. So yeah. that was no. I didn't know it did that, actually. No, you no. We, we do now. Wow, you, <laughs> like, you like the scenic route. <laughs> well, we were driving along, weren't we? Have we covered this on a ramble? I can't remember whether we mentioned well, this before. Well, we've done it early. No one watches the last let's, 10 minutes. Let's mention we? it again. Uh, we were driving along and... I thought, surely we've got to get on the M25 at some point, but no, the sat-nav took us over the M25, so I'm thinking, well, maybe we're avoiding an accident or so something you, you like that. You did the original routes as the elders Honestly, did. we were driving along, and at one point I went, Gaz, that looks a lot like Canary Wharf, mate. <laughs> and the next thing you know, we're going through the Blackwall Tunnel, under the O2, yeah, and popped, it and, and it, was, it was the, not the quickest way, I'd say. From us to Kent. We had a laugh. Yeah, could have yeah, we did have a laugh, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. we did have a laugh. Paul's dragged all the way up here to see our level one learners, full time yep. learners, our level two full time learners, mm -hmm. and we've got year one apprentices that have been with us about uh, 20 weeks. Also, we had some guys that weren't in today, and they came in just to see you as yeah. well today. So, yeah, we'd right. like to thank Paul for making that massive effort to come and see You're us welcome. today. So, thanks, Paul. So, let's get into the nitty gritty of it. Uh, so, the, the question everyone's been asking me on social media here uh, to make sure that we ask Paul when he comes in. Ignoring episodes four, five, and six, your <laughs> favourite Star Wars film is? Oh. Um, Why is he not allowed four, five, and six? So you're going for. Return of the Jedi. No, that's four Star Wars, A New Hope. Oh, sorry, yes, yeah, sorry. Oh, no, yeah. oh, no I'm okay. not allowed. Sorry, yeah, it, it, I'm doing it in old school. Yeah, old school. Um, yeah, because that was the third one, wasn't it? Um, my favourite one, and I can't quote the originals. No, because um, that's too easy. Was, we grew up with the originals. I think it was the last one, to be honest with you. So is that Solo? Uh, no, 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 uh, Last Jedi? no. Last Jedi. No, Last Jedi. I thought that was great. You were, you were that enamoured of it. Luke's yeah. returning that was awesome. Mm. That that final scene was pretty mm. pretty good. I went. Oh, you probably went more times. I went four I times in the cinema, and I got to grow to love it. But I was yeah. so in love with. When Rogue we first one. went, I when think I saw yeah. it about six times. Yeah. In all fairness, you got the card though. I, I have got the Cineworld card of shame. Yes, it is spanked quite a lot. So whenever whenever we're speaking, it's either I've just come back from seeing or I've worked a million hours this week, guys. So yes. the two things we open yes. our conversations yes. with, aren't they? So Jeez. I'm going for uh, I'm going for Rogue One. You're going for. I like Solo. Yeah, I, know I really like, like Solo. I love Solo. I've got to like Solo. Yeah. To like Solo. That's a good film. But. Because I don't think they're going to carry it on. It's a heartbreaking. It it's is a heartbreaking one. Yeah. And you're going to put your hat on Last Jedi? Yep. And Good. Joe? I am torn between Last Jedi and Rogue One, but I think Last Jedi just just, just edges it for me. Yeah. Oh. Just. It's very close, but they're very different films, aren't they? They're very, very different. Yeah. And I think they've both got good points and oh. both got bits that are a bit. Mm. I but yeah, I think Last Jedi I just. I've been applauded when. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. During, yeah. during Rogue One. When <laughs> At the end when Leia. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, no, oh, I, I, I hope we not spoil that for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. And they did the digitised, re digitalised yeah. characters, it yeah. was just... Awesome. I, I was the only yeah. person clapping in the cinema yeah. at that yeah. point. Yeah. I was embarrassing myself yeah. as well, yeah. yeah. So we've got a lot more things in common than we ever think here, haven't we? So yin and yang again. So, so that's clearly up, and that's good, because social media have been hounding me about that for a long time, to make sure Paul answers the question on Star Trek. Have they not asked the question about Star Trek? Well, I was just back, that was where I was going next. Oh, so Believe it or not, you just, it's good, because... We know the rule. If you're a Star Wars fan, you cannot like Star Trek. Do you agree with that rule? Uh, <laughs> I think that's a, a, a rule that exists outside. I think, of I think it might Southern be a, England. A Gary rule. Or a Gary rule. <laughs> yeah. That's a, a GSH yeah. rule. <laughs> Did you like both? Yeah. I love both. I grew up with Star Trek. I, I loved, loved Star Trek more, probably because there was more Star Trek content, and I love, I love the principles of Star Trek more than anything. Because you have Star Wars, great Jedi's fighting, good versus evil, battles, battles, fights. Star Trek is about people and humanity mm. working together, growing, mm -hmm. inspiring each other. Bit more you, you look, you, well, you look at you look at modern society and you think, why don't you adopt Star Trek principles? Everyone goes, you're a nerd, shut up. But I, I loved it because of that because it, it does teach you some good values. So when when you're talking Star Trek, then which is your favourite? Let's talk series rather than films. What's your favourite TV? Oh, oh, favourite TV. Okay, so uh, Gary's checked out the conversation for a bit. By the way, now he's got okay, a glazed right, look. Gary's out yeah. the conversation. So um, I love the Next Generation, but I had an absolute affinity for Deep Space Nine, and oh, I've really? met all oh, of wow. the Deep Space Nine cast, 
and they were absolutely sounds a pound. They were oh, really, wow. really nice people. Oh, so we don't get many deep space. DS9, it yeah. was great because it was a community and, and, and it was a different aspect to that community and it was great. How did you feel about Voyager? Um, I didn't like it to start with. I grew to like it mm. uh, by the end of it. I, I loved it. I accepted them. Yeah. I, I used to think to myself, oh, how dare you? You can never be better than Next Generation and DS9. Well, <laughs> you're, just, you're just spanking the franchise. But it, by the end of it, I was like, actually, I really like Jane. Yeah, I really like the crew. Yeah. yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was good. The new, the new one and Enterprise, I don't really talk about. I must about. admit, I've not, I've not really no, seen any of that it's, stuff. It's it, I'm looking forward to the new one that they're doing with Patrick Stewart. Because he's he signed yeah. up to yes, do a new series. Yeah, he's yeah, coming back. Yeah, he's coming back as Jean Luc Picard. Yeah, which is oh, so for, for most Trekkies, that no, is well. Jean Luc Picard will be back <laughs> in that same canon, so it'll be really good to see him back. Yeah. And you say you're meeting these people, and I know yeah. because I've seen a lot of photographs. How do we go about meeting people? Like I don't know, could we ever go and meet Dr. Emmett Brown and perhaps yes, I've position met them. ourselves in a DeLorean? Yes. You have, haven't you? I have. Because you go to a lot of those conventions. No, well, no, I don't go to a lot. I don't go to a lot. So me and, me, and, me and my best buddy, um, we, we make a promise that we would go to one a year. And we find Showmasters to be less of a rip-off than Comic-Con, uh, which is at Excel. So we go to the Showmasters one. And we kind of just nerd out on the people we grew up with. So I go and see all the old wrestlers demolition and all the people I grew up watching nobody else cares about them <laughs> so you get to talk to them for ages which is great value so demolition um, who else have you met you've met the nasty boys haven't you? I've met the nasty boys demolition Mark Henry honky tonk man Bruce loads of Barber Bruce Barber Beefcake and, yeah, I've and, met Brett I mean Mark Marks before. have just checked out the conversation sorry, now yeah. <laughs> sorry <laughs> It's WrestleMania very soon. Because when you way. send them, every time you send me, I'm like, oh, wow, you've met, you've met. I, I you've haven't met. actually gone to the one we normally go in um, March, so we missed that one. Right. So we'll probably skip this year. Are you going to try and meet Undertaker? I think he's coming to the UK on yeah. some sort of tour. He is, he is, he is but it's too it's expensive. Really it's really very okay. expensive. Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, but by all means, if we want to bring the drinks in now while we're doing this. Well, so well Marx is going to get them while you guys are having a chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While you're having a ramble, yeah, well, yeah, I'll, I thought while you're rambling, I'll go and get yeah, them. Yeah, you, you don't watch wrestling? No. I don't. Just, you don't watch wrestling? No. no, I did, but I've never heard of Demolition Man. I thought it was a film. No, no Demolition, Demolition were a team, 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 team of two stroke three, okay. depending on whether we had the third movie. I'm going to stand The Rock, Stone Cold. Oh, wow, yeah, okay, that was a new generation. Mankind. You've got to have a history of wrestling, so I think that's... Coke is going down. Oh, no, no I, I, had, I had an iron brew. Oh, were you iron brew? I'm, I'm, drinking, okay. I'm drinking for Corby, <laughs> apparently. Everybody <laughs> switched off by this time. Anyway. Iron brew. That's a cold one. Do you remember it's the rambles are for me? That's, <laughs> that's, uh, that's true. Wait, okay. I'm waiting for an iron brew. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we've got... A, we've got a, <laughs> Can you I park us half my own brew? Yeah, did you so want iron brew? Oh, sorry. So this is now, we can't edit these things. This I is know. rolling now. This is chaos now. Yeah, right? come on, guys. Sorry. So, <clears> so <throat> we take, take a step back on yeah. how I stumbled across B5. Um, and then I got a little bit of a backstory myself. I think I was perhaps, um, I think we did some prequels on myself. Because I think, <laughs> is that prequels? You Episode back? one, yeah. yeah I sort of joined understanding where I was in the food chain further up the food chain than I thought I was because I had a gentleman with a lightsaber on Facebook with a quite a menacing picture and sometimes you clicked on it the actual was lightsaber was. Was picture? Yeah, I just thought it was, it was very cool. Menacing, very, yeah, very, oh, if you knew the bloke it was cool, if you didn't know him, who would leave 95% of his comments on my Facebook page were very positive and then occasionally there would be a message that and I'm thinking, I'd, <laughs> yeah. and then I also I had used a, to poke you a bit didn't yeah, I? Yeah, <laughs> and then I had a, a gentleman following me heavily on YouTube and then I contacted Dan and Dan was talking to me about YouTube and being very supportive. That's Dan Jackson, who's um, just gone to India. India. Yeah, just gone to India. Um, and that was really good. And then I started and piecing together a jigsaw. And that jigsaw had an E5 centerpiece. Yeah. And then I watched the video that Dan did with a bloke called Paul Meenham. And I thought, oh, that sounds quite interesting. I'll see, see how I can do that. So I contacted this bloke called Paul Meenham. And he sent me the affiliated set of paperwork that I would have to complete in order to get an E5 badge. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Can we yeah. explain quickly what that paperwork actually was? Okay, so, uh, oh, God. Right. So what we were doing was we were uh, basically sending out um, uh, various packs with the badges. We, oh, we didn't get a badge. Free I got the pack. No uh, badge. I actually, I didn't think, did I send it to you? Yes, or did I, I actually send it yes, to you? Yes, Are you sure it wasn't Ryan or Dave No, I contacted you on email and said, so this is the okay. paper I had to fill in. I spent two I think hours we sent, I think we sent IET membership forms, which were part of that. So have a read and review and you. Start filling it in. Yeah. Do you know what? Sometimes when you have an idea, sometimes 
what you intend isn't what comes out the other end. So I, I went back to the lads. And we, don't, we don't send them out anymore, by no, the way, no, those forms. No. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Just in case anyone's been put off. We learned a, <laughs> learn a lesson from somebody who got quite embroiled in this. Uh, so I went back to lads and I said, we won't be E5 members because I can't fill the paperwork out. So I said, mm. I apologise. So I sent, and I think he emailed you back because at that time I didn't have a contact number for you. He emailed you back and said, Sorry, Paul, that it doesn't look as if I can complete the paperwork. And you sent an email back, oh, you don't have to complete the paperwork. Yeah. You, know, you can be an E5 member. Yeah. I don't know if I was excited or disappointed of the time that I lost trying to fill the paperwork in, but I, and I said, great. Of course, then you just send the badge through the post. Is that right? You, yeah. You so, send, so, so, so is that what happened to me? Uh... <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just, no. just record, record my story. About yeah, okay. I'm an E5 member. I what think happened the was. This is me. This is a roasting. Yeah. Isn't <laughs> it? I'm just getting a roasting here. Okay, fine. The students were appalled. So, so, what happened was, I got an anonymous text from something called TCW on Twitter, and it said, I'm right. coming. Yeah, okay, that's I didn't right. know that, did I? I Sorry. didn't know that. I'm coming to see you on Friday. Are you going to be at college? And I just wrote back very politely, yes, yes, yes. No idea he was. So I get a phone call from upstairs saying Ryan Dempsey standing in the foyer. I think he said to me, I'll come down. And lucky for me, Pete McGowan was standing with him, who's one of my mates. And Ryan came. Okay, did I then get an E5 badge off Ron? Uh, have a think. Did Ryan hand me an E5 badge after the two hours? I think he'd run out. Yeah, Ryan didn't give me an E5 badge. So what happened yeah. then was they sent. Paul Skirm. Yes. Yeah. Paul Skirm was in Coventry, gentlemen. This is how we got our E5 badges. He was in Coventry, going to Newcastle. He decided to come via Coventry to see us here at college. Yeah. Just for a few minutes, three hours, with Paul Skirm, one to one. Paul is possibly the cleverest bloke I know. Oh, yeah, he yeah. is. Yeah. Him and Dave are totally off the charts. Yep, yep, absolutely. And did Paul give me my E5 badge? Yeah. He did. After three hours with him, he gave it, and he said, the next person that's come in is Paul Meenan. And by that time, I couldn't get any members of staff to remain at college to meet you because they knew the disaster. I went uh, back in, after sorry. we had Paul Scum, I, I came think back we're on holiday. Sorry. I think, so I don't we, think it was necessarily that we wouldn't we, come. We, we, we have, I'll be honest with you, we've kind of suffered a few logistics <laughs> issues because it, it, it kind of, it, it grew. We had, like, I mean, I had 500 badges, and they went, pretty darn quick and then it was like well, I had sent some to Dave sent some to Ryan and before you knew it we didn't have any more so we ordered a thousand more and the next thing you know it was totally consuming every minute I mean I have spent hundreds on stamps and postage and luckily the guys at the IT have given me some freebies that we stick in but the, the one thing that we have got from from every single one in E5 which I love is when they've asked emailed us I mean I've got like 60 plus emails at the moment in my inbox but I don't have any more badges mm. um, Every single person, when, when they email us, we always say, please look at the original video of me and my car. Please read the Statement of Ethical Principles and just tell us how you feel you can contribute. And every single person has written back a monologue wow, of pure really? passion about how what they see in the industry going wrong, how they want to improve it, the ideas that they have, and how they want to be part of something bigger than themselves, but more importantly, how they want to help others. Mm -hmm. And it just invigorates you to see so many good people out there. When, nice. Let's be perfectly frank in the industry, there is, there is bad people out there. It's just some wrong ones. Mm. And to see so many good people wanting to contribute in any way they can. I mean, I've had some phenomenal offers from people. And we've said, look, look, at the moment, let's take our time. Let's see where this goes. Let's slowly build relationships with the industry. You just don't want it to become another thing. Mm. Um, but it's it's overwhelmed all of us, and we're, I mean we're we're actually going to be talking over the weekend about what our next steps. We have lots and lots of plans this year. I'm doing, as you know, more videos. We're definitely going to look at the support and educate side of things more mm. because. So Dave uh, wants to get really. Involved, yeah, well, abs oh yeah, Dave's key, absolutely key. But we need to support and educate more because, I mean, you've seen some of the stuff I've shown you today. Yep. You know that yeah. stuff. The aware there's a there's a, <coughs> a an awareness of conscious conscious competence, which is disappearing in the industry because the industry is more about quick sale quick sale get in make your money get out and yet i as a client i sit and i go well i expect an electrician or an electrical contractor to come in in the store and i expect to get a value from that for a number of years but as a electrician client i see that if a, a contractor doesn't follow the regs or isn't competent enough to give me the right products that affects the money that i'm trying to manage it affects the whole life of my assets. It means if I say I'm going to rewire a railway station, that railway station will not need rewiring for 45 years. But if my contractor comes in and says, 
actually, I'm just going to meet the minimum of the regulations, then all of a sudden I've got a station that needs to rewire after 25 or 30 years. Wow. That puts all the forecast planning mm. that clients are now trying to do because with everything costing so much money, clients are now looking at whole life approach. So yeah. beyond my tenure, yeah. right, you put in place strategies and plans uh, and it's the same with E5. We're, we're trying at the moment to develop strategies and plans that E5 as a brand outlasts any one of us, mm. but it tries to be seen as a symbol for good mm. and continuous improvement. Some people have different views on what it is. That's great. They can ring me up and tell me what their view is of it. Um, mm. But we know what we want to do and where we want to go with it, and it's definitely the support and educate part mm. of it. Um, that's good. And that's where we want to be. So back to the misery I was going through. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to avoid that misery. Yeah. I'm sorry. What, what we're hoping, Paul, is that now he's saying this to you yes. on camera, yeah. we yeah. never have to hear I about it again. So yeah. so now it'll be on the record. And, and you drove this, Amy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, and and you, we, had, we had some time together, and then That's we got right. to Star Wars, and then we got to resting, so, of course, I, I could actually join in the conversations that we're having. And, yeah, yeah. and the key one in that was me, I was, I was trying to put all these pieces together because you'd been seeing me from afar for a while, and you, know, without me knowing it. I said to you, the only person now I really would love to stumble across and find is this bloke called Sparky Ninja, of which you smiled massively and you went, you mean David Watts? And at the same time you said it, I remember the amount of times a David Watts had commented on my LinkedIn page or made yeah, yeah. a thing. And I went, so everybody knew That's right. me and I couldn't work out who anyone yeah, was. Yeah, not a lot of people knew David Watts was Sparky Ninja. I think it was yeah. probably we helped encourage him to come out of that mm. yeah. branded persona and, and now Dave is just, do you know what, honestly, uh, having Amazing. blokes that I can call pals like that is just, ev every time I think about it, blows yeah. me away. Yeah. Absolutely blows me away. It's such a privilege to be with you know, guys like that. He knows the industry inside out as well, doesn't he? I mean, if you've got a technical question, uh, he can just answer it. He works right from the regulations. He yeah. is what I would consider the benchmark guy who works from, not to it, He's not struggling mm. to comply with it, he's complying from it, yeah. 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 which is yeah, great. Taking it and building on it, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's, he's got that passion about giving his education away. Well, I've watched his videos. Else. He's yeah. my mate. And I, I, when the 18th edition draft of public comment came out, within two weeks, I'd, I was reading it and creating uh, a PowerPoint presentation so that I could brief people. And um, I was doing training and briefing sessions on it. And even still, having gone around the country, done probably 20 or 20 plus training events went to Northern Ireland did all this stuff I still when Dave did his content still watched it and still learned something mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, and he was the first guy that his toolbox tool on the basic overview of the changes was immense before yeah. that regs book actually fully dropped mm -hmm. yeah. superb and he gave everybody that for free and it's brilliant yes unfortunately we're going to have to ask you in a minute to go and talk to our learners we're going to do the live story of Paul Minute that's what yep. we've got next and we've also hopefully they'll get to see it maybe on the E5 channel or our channel that you're going to show on camera an ACRCD being affected by DC current yeah okay and we're going to look at that so look out for both those videos if you've got this far into the ramble but because we're under time constraints Paul unfortunately we're, going we're to not going to talk about the electrical industry no, breaking news <laughs> breaking news <laughs> So, Something's happened. So um, yeah, we're going to phrase it out. So uh, are we all ready as a collective of four? Yeah. For sure. This will be the most me and Marcus have said the whole yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, 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 I'm. And Marcus is with us. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from, Marcus? Dresham. Yeah, Tell us about yourself. Yeah, yeah. yep. I'm from Dresham. <laughs> OK. So for my, my collection of videos, I've got another ramble. And we hope this video, video has, has been, been some help. help.